Welcome, 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 my wonderful water signs. I want to thank you guys so much for clicking on my channel. I am not going to go through a long introductory. Uh, you guys can check out my intro to how I do my readings. I will be posting that video shortly. So we're going to jump right into your weekly reading. We're going to be doing your chakra pull today as well as clarification cause as to what's going on in the energy. And I'm also going to include your 1111 message in this reading also because I am traveling. So this is going to be for all of my wonderful water signs. Okay, we're going to take a look at your chakras to see what chakras you're working with this week. And then we're going to take a look at your romance life as well as... Any other general information that wants to come through, may it be a person, place, thing, family member, you know, co-worker, okay? So, we're going to thank our guides, we're going to thank our angels, we're going to thank our ancestors, we are going to thank our higher selves, we're going to thank all of the divine energy in the atmosphere that's here for our highest positive good, okay? Um, we're going to thank the love, we're going to thank... Our higher selves once again and we're just going to be thankful for understanding and understanding as we move through all of this energy okay all right water signs i feel like there there's getting to a place where emotions um need to come into balance um okay uh this video is definitely for my light workers my impacts Anyone that's ascending, anyone that feels that they're going through um, some type of spiritual awakening, you don't quite understand everything. Um, you get signs, you get symbols, you, there's a lot of synchronicity happening. Um, all right, so if you click on this video uh, and it just showed up in your, you know, your stream, I don't think it's by coincidence. You may be able to receive a message from your higher self here, okay? Um, this is all about positive reinforcement, guys. This week you're dealing with root chakra energy and you're also dealing with solar plexus energy okay when root chakra energy comes into play that's your now moment that's what's grounding you that's what's on your mind right now those are the things that you can say um or the action cause or the things that cause you to take action okay or cause you not to take action depending on if you're doing your work or not okay and then you have your solar plexus and your solar plexus is responsible for your ego your will okay and the interesting thing about your solar plexus is if you are not careful, right, it can really cause you... Okay, first of all, your solar plexus is also, is also responsible for what's on your mind, okay? And if you are not careful, your solar plexus is not in balance with your, um, your third eye and your crown chakra, you can definitely live in a place of facade because you have facade popping up this week. And you have acceptance popping up this week from your root chakra, okay? So you have popping up what's in your now moment, okay? And you also have popping up um, what's on your mind. So we're going to take a look at what's in the now moment that's on your mind, okay? So we have started out... Um, we have started out... Knowing that you got root chakra and you got solar plexus energy. So we're just going to go ahead and pull your angel cards first, okay? We're going to do your 1111 readings. And this is for my water signs once again, my Scorpios, my Cancers, and my Pisces. Let me just turn this music down. Okay, I feel like that was super loud. Um, okay. All right, so this is definitely for my water signs. Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces. What 1111 messages you have for my wonderful Scorpios, Cancers, and Pisces, okay? Um, first, we're going to deal with your energy, and then we're going to deal with the energy that you may be interacting with, okay? This can definitely be your friend. This can be your lover. This can be a family member, okay? I do not do reverse cards because I give both the um, the positive side of the energy and the negative side of the energy. And you get to choose what side of the energy you're interacting on, my wonderful water sign. So I'm not, I don't do reverse cards. You get to choose your energy, okay? Now, first of all, your overall energy that you're operating with, okay, um, 
you have the star card on the board, okay? The star card means like a lot of you are getting to a place where you do want to make long-term plans of happiness. You do want to um, get to a place where there is emotional stability, where there is financial stability, where there's just security all over, okay? And it doesn't feel like you're really seeking for security outside of yourself if you're doing your work and you're on this spiritual path. You're trying to understand more about yourself and how this whole realm works and how you interact with people, how you love people, okay? Uh, so... So with that being said, uh, when the star card shows up, this just says to have faith. This says for you to um, understand that you're on the right path. Some of you may be questioning your path at this point, uh, especially if it has to do with relationships because there's also the five of water popping up. And this is like something de definitely very painful. So some type of painful, traumatic, you know, it's like somebody or something has hurt you, right? And you're in a place where you're going to have to make a decision, um, especially emotionally, right? If you're going to hold on to the hurt and the pain or if you're going to move on, okay? So, um, the star card is saying to you that you need to have faith, okay? Um, if you're doing your work. This is the where the energy is. Just keep having faith and making long-term positive plans, okay? You're on the right path. You're getting those messages of synchronicity that you're on the right path, okay? You're also being asked to... Um, see things in a positive light. Whatever this thing is that has hurt you deeply, um, do not get stuck in that energy. Do not get stuck in that pain. Do not get stuck in that disappointment. It's time for you to accept it, deal with it, and move on. If you got to cry, cry, okay? Feel it. I'm not saying suppress it. I'm saying feel it, deal with it, and move on. But you got to look for what, what was the lesson that you needed to be learned in this situation, Cancers, okay? Now, this may be even a quite a little bit more difficult for my Scorpios, okay? Uh, I'm a Scorpio son. Um, so you don't want to get stuck in a space where you feel you want to be revengeful. And you want to just put your, your tail up and like sting people, Scorpios, okay? You need to be mindful that in every disappointment, there is a good. And if you can pay attention to what the experience is. And everything is really unfolding beautifully. Even the hard shit, okay? So if you could get to a place where you understand balance and the spectrum is needed, how can you really understand joy and pain if you haven't experienced both, okay? So just be mindful that everything is a lesson. Right. And I'm not sitting here talking shit. This is shit that I have to walk through. OK, so I'm just saying. All right. OK. Um, star card is coming in now. The star card is number 17 in a major kind of deck and that equals the eight. And that's all about new beginnings. OK, so plan for this new beginning. Understand that you're at a, a point now where acceptance needs to come in. You need to get past the facade. See, get past your ego and your hurt feelings. Start paying attention to the lessons. OK. And then you got the three of fire energy. And the three of fire energy is saying to you, things are on a positive note if you are going to do um, the work by using your intuition, first of all, okay? Letting go of this pain and learning the lesson, okay? And then you, you have, once again here, making long-term plans, like getting serious about what you want to do and how you want to move, okay? Water signs. All right, Pisces, it's important for you guys to understand when it comes to this hurt, uh, and if you're the one that has done the hurting, right, don't get caught up in your guilt. You don't want to get caught up in your guilt. Okay? Understand that everything that you've been through it has been for preparation, really. Okay? It kind of feels like you're feeling like things are long overdue, water signs. Things are long overdue. Okay? Cancers, you guys need to be um, careful not to be too manipulative, to you know, if because if you're working with the lower vibrational end of this energy, right, you need to learn not to be uh, too manipulative, Cancer. Okay, so the energy that you're dealing with, right, is judgment. Okay. You got renewal coming in here. And when judgment shows up or the renewal card shows up, this is really about time to reevaluate. So somebody's reevaluating um, their decisions. Somebody's reevaluating things, okay? Somebody's taking a very um, firm assessment of their life, okay? This could also represent, if you're on the lower vibrational end of this energy, somebody is in self-doubt, Okay, somebody's just refusing for shit to change. You just don't want to, you know, um, yeah, you're not examining yourself, okay? 
You're not examining yourself in your in your thinking and you're you know you're stuck. You're just not you're not reevaluating to see um, where you may need to make improvements and where you may need to embrace the change. Right? Okay. Now, see, clarification for this five of water is like they're ready to release all of this pain if they're doing their work. Right? They're ready to release that pain because they have the death card and this is the Scorpio card right here transformation so they're going through transformation okay they don't want to deal with this shit anymore if they're doing their work okay and once again if they're not like reevaluating themselves for those of you that are you know dealing with somebody in the opposite um lower vibrational end of this energy if they're not wanting to deal with themselves they're just like they're stagnant their growth is stagnant they're re resistant change they're unable to move on past old bullshit. So they keep hurting you. You keep ex um, uh, accepting shit, right? And they don't want to change. And you know they don't want to change, right? So some of you are going to have to make a decision. And we're going to clarify this, okay? And to support your three of fire energy, they got the three of earth. So we have three, three. That's 33 mastery numbers, okay? So... Overall, if both parties are doing this work, you have a guaranteed, like, favorable um, outcome here. Guaranteed. Guaranteed favorable outcome here if you're doing the work. You got your energy is um, the three of fire, that intuitive energy. This is all about abundance. This is all about um, things looking good, looking up. you doing the work, whether it be um, putting in the time at work, investing, in you know, in this project. And this can be, like, um, a partnership also. This can be a partnership also. And somebody may have done something within the partnership that the other person may kind of feel like you fucked up. And that, that hurt. Okay. Somebody may have disappointed somebody in this partnership and feel like that was fucked up. Okay. That three of earth energy is coming in and saying, I, I know I fucked up, but I want to work this out. You know, I want to work this out. Okay. Okay. Yep, they're ready to be a team player. Okay, so if this is a partnership, they're ready to, to be a team player, but you will have to let go of the bullshit and see what you can learn for this. If you need to move on, don't stay in stagnant energy if you need to move on, guys. Okay, that's super important for you to understand. Don't stay in stagnant energy if you need to move on because it's not going to be beneficial to anybody, especially if you're ascending and, you know, if you're a light worker, if you're an empath, you know. Pay attention to not to stay in situations where it's physically draining your energy. Okay? That's that's going to be important for you guys to understand. Okay, so now we're going to build from your angel messages, okay? So we know your angels are basically saying, my wonderful water signs, that you guys need to have faith and not pay attention to... So much what you can see with your physical eyes, but understand that you're manifesting things all of the time. And you're definitely um, always, you know, some may say switching from one dimension to the next a billion seconds per minute. And some may say that you're switching, um, you know, realities from one moment to the next. But literally, you're creating things. And this is asking you to have faith, okay? Um, now, this could also uh, mean water signs that y'all need to start walking in y'all truth, too, Okay? So, all right, so let's start building here, okay? The angels are saying let go of shit you can't control and let go of spilt milk. So both energy is asking you to let go, okay? So this can be done by sharing because you have the um, queen of fire on the board. And when the queen of fire shows up, she's all about your intuition. She's all about your intuition, so you got fire energy popping up on the board again. So queen of fire, you're sharing, okay? Um, this is about determination. So if this is, you know, regardless of this is a, a friend, a lover, a, um, a family member, okay? You're, at, you're being asked to have faith, right? You're being, and, and their energy is like they're ready to release things and, and going through a transformation, right? And, and, reinforced by telling the page the queen of fire okay use your intuition 
and share. And don't share from a place of bringing back up the past from a hurtful place, like you're not pointing fingers. So when you're having conversations about maybe how you feel water signs, you want to say, I feel like this because, not you did this so I feel like, okay? So don't be accused, you know, accusatory, if that's a word, or accusing the other person, right? Okay. All right, so what do you want my wonderful water signs to know? Yeah, somebody needs to open up um, about their feelings and how they feel about this pain because the energy is here. Um, somebody wants to release something and move past. Somebody's going through a transformation, right? But it feels like they're coming back around to want this partnership, okay? Because you got two threes on the board. All right, clarify the five of water energy and the release death card energy. Clarify that energy. Clarify Scorpio's energy, Cancer's energy, Pisces energy, and the energy that they're interacting with. Clarify that energy for us. And if I haven't time stamped this, guys, because I'm not going to be putting time stamps in my um, caption or the titles, per se, uh, but I am time stamping this for April 16th to April 24th. Okay. Okay. Okay, water signs, you got to pay attention to your projection, your projection, right? Because you got the seven of water on the board, okay? So you want to pay attention to whatever illusions you're creating because you're creating this. So you need to really learn the lessons because you're creating. It's, and I, I, keep, I know I keep saying this in my videos, but if you don't deal with this energy, you're going to create the same type of energy with a different face, okay? Um, and a new experience to reinforce this energy. So stop projecting. You want to deal with this five of water. Deal with this hurt. Deal with this pain. See what you need to learn. Their energy is they have that three of fire energy. When the three of fire shows up, they're like, okay, I'm going through transformation. They're going through a period where they are being prepared. If they are doing the work, they're being prepared. If they're not doing the work, they're not trying to make no long-term plans. And this is, you know. And if that's the case, water signs, especially from a Scorpio, y'all gonna walk away. If you on your, your, your shit. If you on your boss, your boss shit, you about to walk away. Because you got this three of fire energy coming in here. Well, you know you're being prepared. They got the uh, the eight of, uh, I'm sorry, they have the three of earth energy on the board. So they know they're going to have to do the, you know, get into this teamwork and collaboration if they want to make this shit work. That's just how it's going to be. All right, clarify the three of fire for my wonderful water signs and clarify the three of earth for their partner. Clarify. Yep, you got the trust card. This is all about letting go. The trust card is all about that night of water energy, right? Once again, this goes back to paying attention to how you see things, your imagination. Somebody's coming in with romance and charm, okay? Now, if they're doing their work, they're serious about this shit. And you, you know, like, you guys are water signs, so you can use your intuition to really pick up on that, especially using this three of fire energy, because you know you've been calling in your abundance, and you just got to trust that, right? See? Yeah. We got the tower card coming in. They're going through a lot of major change, your partner. This energy is going through major, major change. They got the thunderbolt on the, board, uh, on the board. That's the tower card. So they have a lot of change coming in. So if they are not doing their work, there will be some, you know, some moments um, where they're caught up in their fear because shit is just going to, it just kind of feel like shit is going to be unraveling one by one by one by one. Okay, and if they are doing their work, they're going to recognize this as change and surrender, right? And let go of the fear and just like kind of fucking just work through the shit that they need to work through. If they are not doing their work, they're going to be stuck in that fear of change. 
right? Which is which is gonna be this lack of um this disregard, like just this disregard to um having you know being a being in us in the relationship or we in the relationship, you know, or being a team play in the partnership or coming together, you know. There's no collaboration. They don't want to collaborate if they're not doing their work. But there's definitely change coming in. There's change coming in either which way. Like, honestly speaking, they're going through major changes and major transformation either which way. They got the death card on the board, which is shit ending. You know, they got the thunderbolt, which is a tower card on the board. Okay. That's that sudden change. Okay, what is this sudden change about in their life? So you're just being asked to trust that you... See, you're being asked to trust that you're on the right path. Okay? And that's your overall energy water signs. Trusting that you're on the right path. Okay? And that's showing up twice. In your overall energy and the final outcome of the situation. That's showing up twice. You're being asked to trust because things are looking up. Make long-term plans like you're creating this shit water sign. Okay. What is your partner's um, Thunderbolt moment? What do you want what a signs to know about their partner's Thunderbolt moment? Ooh. They got death on the board twice. They got major fucking transformation going on. There is some major transformation going on. And if this is not your energy, um, on the flip side, where it's asking you to let go and forgive and not project and, and trust... Then that's their energy. If you cross watching, um, you know, just <sighs> wow, wow. You got um, Scorpio on the board twice. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. You have Scorpio on the board twice. Release and transformation. Somebody's going through a transformation. This three of earth energy for them to get to here. Right? With this teamwork, it's like they're going to go through a breaking process. But it's going to build them. And, and for those that are aware that that's what they're going through, they're going to welcome and embrace the change. For those that are not, like... Yeah, some shit's about to, to go down. Some shit's about to change. Some shit is about to change. See, the tower card is Mars. Mars is acting to take action. Tower card is Mars. It's asking you to take action. Somebody's being asked to move, take action. Define who you are. Define your truth. Define what you really want. Okay, define what love is to you, you know, define what partnership is to you, define what teamwork means to you, define what you want. You know, we're in that, we're in that Aries um, season and you know, Aries can be aggressive energy, but let me just say this. If you were doing your work, you want to take that energy and you want to be able to transform yourself. Okay. Um, we're stepping into some superpower energy uh, within this next new year of the Zodiac where you're really um, stepping into a vibration where you're being called to walk your truth, even on the, 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 the smallest levels. Go with your intuition. Um, don't try to force things into existence. Uh, pay attention to your now moment and just stay in the present, even when it should feel like it's unraveling. Even when something seems like it's unraveling, if you can just get in the now moment and ask yourself right now, Am I lacking anything right now? Right now in this moment. Right now. In this moment. And all it is is a moment. It just takes one moment for you to understand that you're creating all of this. Going back to the place where peace. Let me tell you something about peace, water signs. Peace is not something you try to attain or a place you try to get to. Peace is always there for you to, 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 to interact with. Peace is always there for you to embrace. Okay? Life may not appear perfect, but I can tell you it is within your imperfections where you gain perfection. Okay? It, it's within your imperfections where you where you can understand and figure out and grow towards your, your real strength. Okay? All right, my wonderful water signs. I am going to pull um, 
I'm going to pull Romance Oracles for my singles. Romans oracles for my couple that's together um, that may have been newly separated and you're not sure which way you want to go. And I'm also going to pull um, Romans oracles for uh, my couples that are in committed relationships. Okay. The overall energy here is this person is going through transformation. Okay. Um, so if this is a family member, if this is a friend, co worker, lover. They're going through some major change, and if that's not their energy, then that's yours, okay? Universe don't give a shit about time. Um, not at all. The universe don't care about time at all. We, we are the one that gets caught up in time. <clears throat> all right. So can you please give me three oracle romance cards for my wonderful water signs that are single? Okay. All right, for my single, um, my single water signs. Okay, you need to get out, have fun, and be playful. Okay, you need to maybe. Um, I'm hearing go out and have a date with yourself if you're single. You may be surprised. Go have a drink. You know, meet a friend after work and be playful. Okay, um, allow your fun, vibrant, sexy side to shine if you are a water. You know, female. And, you know, allow your, your shit to kind of glow if you are um, water male. You know, just get into your shit, you know. Um, feel yourself a little bit. You know, if you're single, get out, feel yourself a little bit. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, I'm feeling my, okay. Feel yourself a little bit and get out there and play, okay. For some of you, um, you cannot drag your finances into this new relationship energy that you're entering into. Deal with your financial stuff, okay. Um, yeah. And especially, um, let me just say something, right? Somebody's financial status does not determine their heart. That's what I heard. And this is for my singles. Make sure that if you're loving somebody, it has to do with passion and not about their financial status. And that's for my wonderful single water sign. I'm just saying, okay? All right, what do you have for my water signs that's newly separated and not sure if they can continue the relationship oh one just popped out okay all right Ooh, okay there was some codependency here okay this does not have to be and i keep saying this in, in the videos when this pop out this does not have to be um substance codependencies or substance abuse this can be emotional codependency this can be um where you just like shopping because it, it fails um because it fills um some type of hole for you okay uh so you want to deal with whatever that codependency issue is and free yourself you guys need to sit back and talk somebody need to free themselves okay um you do know that this can definitely possibly be soulmate energy okay and just let me let you know sometimes soulmate energy the person sharpens you because there's a lot of friction so they pull out stuff out of you okay yep so you guys are definitely going to go through some time apart if you're newly separated um you want to make sure that you're open and you're communicating because this could be the one and soulmate is popping out on the board but there's definitely some codependency issues going on that needs to be dealt with and um there's definitely if you're you're separated ha free yourself tell your tell your truth okay step in your truth okay so I'm still not seeing, this is still going over all water signs with the energy on the board. If they're doing their work, okay, if they're not doing their work, you're not going to be able to sit in this energy of transformation that they're going through. If they're doing dealing with the lower vibrational end of that and they just don't want to step in um, and examine themselves, okay. If they refuse to see things from a positive perspective and you're doing your work. Water signs, you're not, yeah, or, or, or if this is not your energy water sign, this is where they are. They're not going to be able to entertain you, okay? All right, what do you have for my wonderful couple water signs? Can you please give me three oracle cards for my wonderful water signs? That's in relationships. Hmm, I'm going to put this back. This, yeah. All right. Three cards for my wonderful water signs. 
are in committed relationship. Separation popped out, water sign. And I think that this really goes with the energy of what I was saying. You're not going to be able to, um, to sustain. You're not going to be able to sustain this relationship if this is not... Um, Yep, you're not going to be able to, yeah. Okay. Okay, for my couples, I don't know. It kind of feels like maybe some of you are really going through a difficult time right now. And, it, you know, this could be two Scorpios, one of them on the, the higher vibrational part of this energy and the other one more, you know, like on the lower vibrational end that may be trying to do their work, right? If you, if this resonates more with you and you're in a committed relationship with this person and you're more on the higher end or, you know, vice versa, or however this energy interacts, right? Um, you have to get back to a place where you're getting to know each other. Um, if you're not married yet, they're definitely thinking about... Um, engagement okay or maybe you guys are engaged okay maybe you guys are engaged and you feel like you're getting to know each other maybe you're engaged and you're living together and you feel like you're still getting to know each other um okay um if you're married however um because of all of this hurt and this pain this five a cup of water here um this shit that they've hurt you really bad this deep hurt this deep pain, if you have chosen to do the work, you are going to have to get to know each other again and maybe even recommit to the vows. Okay? I do feel like there is some type of um, attraction still to both of you, um, right? Um, and reconciliation is there if you're doing the work, okay? Uh, there is chemistry there. You guys will have to retreat and get to know each other again. Right? So you're going to have to retreat and get to know each other. Some quiet time. Maybe a second honeymoon for those of you that are married. For those of you that are not married, maybe you may need to take a vacation with just you and your partner and leave the kids home. Um, for those of you that are maybe um, engaged but still feel like you're trying to get to know your partner, you're definitely going to have to retreat and keep people out of your business. Okay? All right, my wonderful water signs. I hope this was helpful. I am traveling this week, so I know I posted um, Scorpio's um, bullshit versus bullshit um, reading. Right? So you guys definitely want to check that out, okay? Um, and I'm traveling this week, so I don't know if I will be uploading Pisces and Cancer, but you guys can get all this information. Um, that's why I packed it all in here, and I made this video so long. All right, my wonderful, wonderful water signs. I will see you guys in your individual readings next week. Make sure you do something kind for yourself, okay? All right, bye, guys.